Hey everybody, it's Plutoad, and welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy. So now, I guess we should head over to the fountain, but first, we have a little icon above this toad's head. Mr. Mario, check it out! I'm a male toad, and I have a letter for you. Dear Mario, I'm in a faraway place, but I'm alright because you're coming to rescue me. P.S. I hope this gift, gift will come in handy. From Peach. Princess Peach included five one-up mushrooms in her letter. Would you like them now? Yes, please. Ah, even when she's kidnapped, the princess is is so thoughtful. Well, come see me the next time. Next time there's a mail delivery. So unfortunately, whenever you exit the game, you lose all your lives that you've collected. But the mail toad will give you some when you rejoin sometimes. I don't think it's all the time, but I could be wrong. But yeah, you can get mail from the mail toad now. Anyway, it's time for the speed comet in Space Junk Galaxy. I, f I forgot there's also the, um, the Luma there that we did. But we'll get that at some other point in time probably. Pull Star Path Speedrun. Okay, this one's not, probably not that bad, but we also have only a limited time to get to it. So let's see how this goes. How much time do we have? Four minutes, cool. Let's go. Oh, please. Thank you. Don't take your time, just go fast. Please, game. Okay, this is the trickier part where we have to get these shards in this gravity. Okay. Last one, if I can. There we go. Oh, if I can get over that, that'd be good. Okay. Grab some of those. And now let's go. It's a good thing it's trying not to distract me with star bits or anything. Okay, good. Going faster. We've got plenty of time. Oh, please don't fall. Please don't fall, please don't fall. Oh, this is a, a thing to catch you, I guess. There we go. Yeah, we've got plenty of time, but we also have the next bit to do as well. I forgot that this actually is longer than just get the get to the toads. Because now we have to go do the, um, the floating platforms up there. But that's still probably fine. Let's go. We have to get these five silver stars. And we have plenty of time. Okay. I would do some long jumps to try and get to places, but I don't want to don't wanna die by accident. Please get up there, thank you. Don't fall off, oh my goodness. I nearly fell. Okay. One more. And then we also have to go get the star. But I don't think it's going to take me a minute and 33 seconds to go get a star. It will if I die, but then it won't match because the timer will re reset anyway. And also I'll have to redo the entire stage. Because I'm pretty sure there are no invisible checkpoints in the speedrun comment. So, anyway. Oh, 
Okay, now let's actually go... Uh, I guess we should actually do the Bowser level now. We only had a little bit of a look at Battle Rock and everything else isn't done yet, but... Let's go to Bowser's Star Reactor. The Fiery Stronghold. So, this is going to be fairly normal from now on. We have to go through this linear level, basically, before we actually get to the boss. So, I can feel a grand star nearby. But this place is filled with all kinds of traps and tricks. Be careful. Oh, I will. But I'm also going to kill myself a few times, probably, by not being careful. Okay. I mean, the gravity here is cool. And that that's a black hole right there. Oh, fire, 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 I'm fine. Okay. The gravity here is all out of whack. Check the arrow. Check out the arrows. And be careful of black holes. And burning, and burning, and burning, and burning. Okay. Can't go any further forward, otherwise we'll fall into that black hole. So let's jump down onto this platform. And then... Let's go... Over this way and don't get crushed by the thwomp. Oh my goodness, gravity. Okay. Just grabbing one-ups because they'll be... useful... later on. But anyway, now we've made it just about to the end. Also, before this point, the music is Bowser in the Dark World or the Bowser level theme from Super Mario 64, which I'm very happy with. Oh, Bowser's breaking these platforms. You finally made it. Just in time for me to stomp you into space bits. So it's time to fight Bowser. Jump over his shockwave. And get him to dive bomb into one of these glass bits. Because he'll break it. Revealing the lava. Which he takes damage from, except it doesn't take damage, because we need to spin him a few times, once he's actually running away from us. When he's running away from you though, you want to go the opposite way across the planet to hit him again. Two shockwaves. Hit me, hit me, hit me. Good. He's going that way, I'm going to go this way if I can. And spin. He's actually spinning this time. He's supposed to spin round. But he got stuck on something last time. Okay, here we go. Just need to dodge his fire. And these three shockwaves. Which you can sound these taller platforms to dodge. Oh, what is he doing? Why is he walking backwards? Come on, Bowser. I believe in you. Okay, let's finish this off with one last big spin. What? How? Foolish Mario, my plan is too far along now. You really think you can stop me?
and now we've unlocked the kitchen, and also three levels in it because we were spent a fair bit of time getting stars in other places. Ah. You rescued another Grand Star, and Pal has returned to another dome in the, bl in the back of the observatory. Hmm, but I still don't think we have the star power we need to fly the observatory through the universe. The villain who kidnapped... <coughs> Sorry. The villain who kidnapped your special one took her from... Far from here. To the center of the universe. Once our star power is restored, the obser observatory will be able to go there... Go there. Then you can reunite with your special one. Well, that's good. But we need a lot more star power first. Also, I'm pretty sure this map here is also the star map, so you don't have to worry about talking to the Luma here to see if there's any, um, what's it called? Comets? So anyway, we're good now to go to a new dome. Let's go and do that. And let me see if this one-up is actually here now. It is. So that's going to respawn around whenever we get back to the observatory, as long as we remember to get it. This is the kitchen! I know. Also, I love how you can follow the pipes to the domes. Because that's where the, the star power going through it. Let's see what we have here. Guess we can start opening up these levels all at once to see what they look like. And we need... 23 stars to get to the boss. We need one more star. Uh, I guess we can start with Bubble Breeze Galaxy. Through the Poison Swamp. This is why you can't give Toads a starship. If they have too much power, they crash it into the first planet they find. Ah. Are you gonna say something to me? Yes, you are. This is Poisonous Swamp. A Poisonous Swamp. If you fall in there, you're done for. Watch yourself in the Poisonous Swamp. So if we fall into this Poisonous Goop, you die. Just, that's it. Whoa, the wind sure is strong here, eh? Don't you think it would be awesome if you could ride that wind? I guess it would be cool, wouldn't it, Toad? How did you do dodge that? I, I guess I won't question it that much. Okay, there is a platform there. I just couldn't see it because the camera's doing its own thing at the moment. How do I want to fall in? Ow! I think I broke my bubble bone. What? Toad, are you alright? Hey, before you ride my any bubbles, that's yours truly. Fillboard, bend your ear for a sec. You can move around in your bubble by holding it down A, but do it while your cursor is blowing on the bubble. By the way, when you're playing in handheld mode, don't forget you can blow air by tapping. If you go too far to one side, use the cursor to blow on the other side. So if we jump into this bubble, and we press A, we can use the cursor to move ourselves around. If you're not blowing, it means you're not moving, which is good. If you crash into pretty much anything, the bubble pops and you will die in the goop. So we have to be very careful. Oh, there's a thing up there that I want to get. You can kind of go against the wind, which you're not supposed to be able to do, but I guess that's fine. Let's just grab it all these, and we need to get all these star... launch star fragments. Okay. Go through here. We almost have them all. Oh, but we have to go past this moving... spike... thing. And now we need to go back over there. Past this... spiky thing again. 
Go fast, go fast, so, so fast. Too much fast. Anyway, let's spin and go. If you spin in a bubble, I'm pretty sure it breaks. So you can also do that to get out of it when you're on land. Hey, I forgot to tell you something. So if you're getting a bubble and you want to get back to the surface, press ZL to get down. Oh yeah, if you get pinched between moving obstacles, that big bubble's gonna burst, so watch out. Oh, cool. But yeah, we can also ground pound to get out of the bubble. Either way it works. Now we need to get through this without dying and without being crushed. What is this? I want to check this. Oh, free star bits. Cool. Just what I like to see. Okay. I don't know why it's giving me so many coins here. Like, so many coins. It's not going to matter that much overall. If it gives me coins. Also, there's... Uh, we need to stop down here, so that's why this extra bubble blower is here. East path for experts only. South shortcut. Um, I don't think I need the extra path. Also, we can ground pound the switch to go that way. It's for experts only, but I don't think we need it. Since it's just coins, and coins literally don't matter. Um, let me go this way, I think. Oh, careful, 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 so careful. Okay. We're doing well. We're doing so well. And now, we can get the star. And we don't even need to be in a bubble to get it, sir. So. Very nice. And galaxy complete as well. <laughs> we discovered a new galaxy already. Oh, you're right, that's the Bowser level. And also, Rosalina's library has opened. Now you can read the storybook. And I don't know what I need to do with that. I might just leave that for now. We have discovered an enemy base in the region. We can only hope that they are not misusing the power of that poor Grand Star. Well, we're not going to do that just yet. We just did the previous one. But as long as you're getting enough stars as you go along, you can just get pretty much entire worlds done fairly, like, all of the worlds open to you fairly quickly. Let's go to Beach Ball Galaxy. Sunken Treasure. And this is also our first time going into a level and being able to swim in water, I guess. Yeah, this beach bowl is pretty much penguin paradise. Welcome to beach bowl. If you want to know about swimming, ask us penguins. We're friendly. Okay, I'm talking to you, so tell me about how to do it. I feel like that's the point. You see these sparkly things? Yeah, I see them. I saw them in the opening cutscene. There was a sparkly in the ocean. A sparkly, you say? So, star bit chunks, huh? The students are distracted by the sparklies. Wow, they really don't want to tell me how to swim right now. I guess these penguins in the water are actually here to tell you how to swim. Ah. Ah. On the water surface, shake or press Y to jump. Okay, that's interesting. Also, that's to spin. We also have an air meter while we're underwater. Hang on. Dive with ZL. 
I guess that's one way to do it. Otherwise, just swim down by pressing A. Or... No? Well, anyway, you probably want to just... Wait, is that really... How it wants you to go down? I feel like there should be a different way, right? No, I guess not. Okay. So, you do actually have to do that. But, yeah, A to... Press mash A to just swim around. Control stick to aim. Where are you going? So I guess they did tell you what to do, and I'm surprised that those are the the ways it works. Also, if we run out of air, we die, I'm pretty sure. So let's not do that. Swim through bubbles to get a gulp of air, or just return to the surface. But bubbles are going to be very useful because they just replenish your health or the air super quickly. Also, while we're underwater, we can spin to go faster. And it doesn't seem to use air that much if we just do this. I mean, it does, I'm pretty sure, still use air. But it's very good for just getting around. Now, where are these... Um... Launch star fragments? They're down here somewhere. Ow! Or maybe they aren't. Am I crazy? I don't think I'm crazy. Maybe I am crazy. Hang on. There's one. Oh, there's another one. In this clam. Also, we need to make sure we don't accidentally swim out the edge because we'll just fall out, I'm pretty sure. Although I've been wrong about several things so far. Now, let's see. Um, hang on. Just want to see what I'm doing from up here if I can. They're probably all in the water, but I need to actually see where they are. Oh, there's one. Right down there. Next to the eels. Or whatever they are. I don't know. Th I don't think they're eels. What are they? Little evil things. Yeah, don't get too close to these things. Oh, please, don't get too close to these things. Just gonna grab that. Now let's go get that launch star and go places. Oh, down. And let's go. We're still on the same planet. Let's keep grabbing stuff. Oh, and let's grab all these notes if we can. Oh, stop. Oh my goodness. Ow. Please. Pain. I'm not going to have enough time to get these, I don't think. That's cool, though, because that was the, um, the underwater theme from Super Mario Bros. Well, so I'm pretty sure we can just get up here onto this platform. And also the other one over here. Without having to use these, this, these other platforms. And using the switch. So, yeah. There are a lot of different ways to get up places. And like up here, there's the star. Let me just quickly see what this switch does. Ah, it just makes a better way to get up than just skill. You know? Anyway, let's grab this star by breaking this crystal which we have to spin twice for. A new chapter has been added to the storybook. And a hungry loomer has appeared. So many things. Let me just quickly check the map. Although I don't think anything's gonna have appeared. Yeah, we're good. So I guess... Let's go check out that hungry loomer. See how much it wants. Got any tasty star bits? If you feed me a bunch of star bits, I'll burst with a snacky happiness and then transform. I'm famished, I need 600 star bits. 
to curb the hunger pangs. That's still not a lot. That's still only half of what I've collected so far. That's it. I'm stuffed. Here we go. Transform! The Drip Drop Galaxy has appeared. Giant Eel Outbreak. So they are eels. There's a lot of penguins here. I don't think I want to talk to them all. Ever since these those big eels showed up, we haven't caught any fish. Get rid of those big eels. Also, we can grab a shell. And if we go into water with a shell, it automatically moves us forward. If we spin, we'll throw it, of course. But we can actually still throw it to do damage to things. So, if we can find an eel, like this one... Or well, that one, or even the treasure chest. If we can line up our, our light on one of these eels, and then shoot, we can take them out. So let's get rid of these eels, basically. Go. I missed, and that was a red shell. There's also bullet bills trying to get me right now. That I need to be careful of. Oh, there we go. Missed again. See if I can actually get it. Yeah, that's better. The homing on that was really good. I'm gonna quickly go up for air, even though I could use bubbles. Just wanna do that, and then let's find this last eel. There it is. Just need to go faster than it, which is somewhat simple enough. Okay, there we go. Thank goodness for homing shells. And let's go get the star. If we can find it. It's on the ship, but that doesn't mean it's easy to find. No, there it is. The ship, that is. So let's grab the shattered star thing. There we go. Okay, here we go. So, no new mail, nothing else for us. Let's go back in, I guess. Just have to get up there, which takes a little bit of effort to get up, but that's okay, as long as I don't fall off. Okay, in we go. Okay, let's have a look at Ghostly Galaxy. Luigi and the Haunted Mansion. On another star stream, there's a toad inside dancing. But anyway, let's use this launch star to actually get to the planet. Or a planet. We've got these enemies that spawn fire, which you can spin to break open their pumpkins. Or if you jump on top of them, bounce off of them, which does nothing. But you can ground pound to kill them in one go, so. Anyway. Let's keep going this way now, and I believe after spinning into one of these different types of spider, you can run into it to destroy it. Also, that's a that's a chain chomp, so I'm gonna dodge that. 
And let's head on in. Now we've got some interesting stuff to deal with. Because we have booze, and whenever a boo is near you and you spin, it flips around. Uh, so if I can flip him into the light, maybe. Whenever you're looking at a boo, it doesn't chase you. Whenever you, whenever you look away, it does chase you. But now, they die in the light, of course. Um, but now we need to actually figure out which way to go from here. There is a boo here. Let's get rid of that if we can. There we go. Grab the key. And now we can head up to the next room. Just gonna get some extra star bits. There we go. Also, I believe if you spin next to a flame, you can put it out, but I'm not sure if that's gonna be that worth it to you. At all. Oh my goodness, gravity. I'm on the wall now. How did I do that, though? Can you just... Hang on. How did... How did... But how? I wasn't on the platform, and I just got onto the wall. Anyway, we need to get these... Oh my goodness. We need to get these... Launch star fragments. Let's do that, if we can. Careful not to walk into a black hole, because if you do, it will be... Very bad. Okay, let's go... Over here... One more... It's up there. There we go. And now let's go to the launch star, which is on top of a... Black hole. Black hole, black hole, black hole, black hole, black hole. Okay. Everything's fine. I just need to... Not die. And launch star. Also, the black hole's gone. That's good. Get some star bits from these planets that are just around. Okay, and now we need to jump off of this to grab that key. Using the pool stars to save us. Oh my goodness. Booze. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of the booze if I can. And the light, because I need coins and they drop coins. You can see what's inside of them whenever you spin them, I guess. This is written in Booish. Oh, cool. I love Booish. Can't go that way because that's a cage. But if we go up here and grab this coin, we get a Boo Mushroom. You transformed into Boo Mario. Spin to vanish. Okay, cool. We can also press the jump button to go up. Basically. If we keep mashing it, we go up. Grab that. Okay, let's read the sign out without we are a boo. Please. When in boo form, press B rapidly, repeatedly to float. Shake to turn transparent and you can go through bars. But if you touch the light, your power up goes away. So that's all we need to know about being a boo. But there is one other thing that happens when you're a boo. So, if we go over here, if there is an actual boo nearby, they will still try to attack you in a kind of loving way. Anyway, let me go through these bars and use the light to turn back to normal. And let's go say hello to Luigi over here. Help! Bro, you finally came. I got lost with the toads. It was terrible. But I found a power star, so that makes up for it, right? Yeah. So there we go, we just get a power star from him. Also, I'm pretty sure we could have seen him earlier through the bars. So, I, I missed that, but that's fine. We get to pose with Luigi. Ah, oh, Luigi.
Welcome back. I can see your brother from here. If you ask him, I bet he will help you search for power stars. And I'm sure he has lo a lot to tell you. You should speak to him over by there by the garage. Also, the line, I can see your brother from here is the best way to say that, hey, your brother's here now. <laughs> I can see your brother from here. Anyway, that is it for this episode of Super Mario Galaxy. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.